See how, see how sharp he is. Isn't he sharp, y'all? Uh, Deacon Charlie Bowtie might work with it, huh? <laughs> uh, church stand, just, one, just stand up, Philadelphia. We have a small gift uh, from our church. We want to sow in that, that endowment fund to uh, your chapter. Amen. Along with, uh, I got the letter <laughs> talking about my pledge that you want me to. You want me to start paying on, I ain't gonna tell them what it is, cause uh, <laughs> uh, I ain't gonna tell them what it is, but I believe I, I'm gonna do my very best to make that pledge, but I, and I wanna sow seed myself personally. This is, this is what I put on the side and just save my little money so I could have uh, this day to be able to present to the chapter a uh, uh, check and, the, and that amount too. And it's over the first installment. Okay. It's over the first installment, all right? I love you, man. Go ahead. I love you as well, friends. Oh, my God. Isn't God wonderful? This, this, this word in, in class, well, pastor asked us. He, he talked about, we've come this far by faith. And he talked about the work of one generation that passes to another generation. And this is what this is about. This is about sustaining the generation of young people who attend Bowie State University, just like this young lady who plans to become a bulldog. These types of endowments will help fund their education and, and return to our communities those who have been raised up and trained and their gifts and talents have been sharpened and honed so that they can do the work of the Lord through a great faith. Pastor Askins, we thank you. We thank your church for so graciously receiving us today. And, um, and we even brought you a drummer today. <laughs> Again, thank you, sir. Again, thank you very much. Amen. Thank you, Doc. Uh, Before we leave, I want all the brothers to come on up front. And I, I, want, I want to pray over you. I want to pray over this chapter. Amen. All of y'all come and face the camera. Amen. I want to pray over them. I think that's appropriate. Preachers, get behind them. Amen, amen. Dr. Jones, I want you to come and do a prayer of blessings and a prayer that will keep them in, in the rightful minds. Preachers, go around them. Come behind them, preachers. Lay hands on them. If you can get behind them and lay hands on them, just go in the front of you. Or right here, it's fine. Let us look to the Lord. Our Father and our all-wise God, we've come before you now with bowed heads and spirits on fire, hearts that are ready to do what you called us out to do. And then Lord God, we just want to take a moment to just intercede on behalf of this great chapter this great chapter from Bowie State College. We pray, oh God, that you would bless each and every member. We pray that you would bless the leadership and then bless the fellowship. And then, Lord God, we pray that you would bless their efforts, all that they intend to do, all that they have done thus far along this journey. We pray, oh God, that you would continue to make their vision become their reality and that Lord God young men and young women would be helped and blessed and taught oh God by the examples these your people these men and young women who are all part of this chapter who will participate 
We pray, oh God, that you would bless their efforts, not just on the here and now, but bless them in the future. Bless all that their hands should endeavor to do. We pray, oh God, that you would encourage them, encourage their heart, let them know that they need not be weary in well-doing. Because as the word says, in due season, they will reap the reward if they faint not. So, oh God, give them the spirit of courage, the spirit of strength, the spirit of power, and most of all, the spirit of love. Love one toward another and love and compassion for helping those, oh God, who's going to come to them in need. Oh God, we pray again that you would bless this chapter, that you would bless them with all that they need, oh God, to do what you've called them out to do. Their purpose and their will be blessed, oh God, and your plan in them be fulfilled. And we ask, oh God, again for the president, the leader, the spiritual leader of the chapter, that you give him the special strength and power to lead your people and to lead the chapter into oh god things that they will never think that they should be able to accomplish if they keep it oh god in your hands we ask it all in the power and the precious and the blessed name of jesus christ i pray and the people of god said amen amen, amen, amen. and amen stay where you are stay where you are we're coming with the benediction Yesterday we taught on the benediction. One of the things that came out in that teaching of the benediction that I gave was that many times we bow our heads in reverence to God. But in reality, what we ought to do is lift up our heads and raise our hands and tell God, thank you because it's a celebration when we leave this place, somebody has received the blessings of the Lord. And even if you heard the word, you've already been blessed. So as the benediction comes, just rejoice in the Lord because God is bestowing his blessings on you. Amen, and if all hearts and minds are clear, now unto him, that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. And the church sang. Come on, shake somebody's hand. Come on, shake these brothers' hands up here as they come on down. Come on, Phil come on, Philadelphia. Amen. All right, man. All right, man. Y'all want to take some pictures? You can take them right here. Well, where's the banner? Where's the banner? Y'all brought y'all to bring the banner. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man.
Huh? Okay, he's gonna get his dance too. She's in the way. Yes. <laughs> 